Cobra Kai Season 4 is easily one of the most anticipated seasons of the show coming to Netflix in the future. Mainly because the fan base behind Cobra Kai is one of the most loyal and passionate fan bases out there. No doubt due to the source material. And they're willing to turn out in droves to watch the newest episodes. Season 3 of Cobra Kai was watched over by 7 million households within a short amount of time. And with the Season 4 aiming to crank things up, it's going to get more interesting. But what do we definitely know about Season 4? I have seen stocks of corn with better physiques. Allow us to give you Cobra Kai Season 4 major news and updates. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. 8. Release date. Obviously the biggest thing that people are curious about is when Cobra Kai Season 4 will be released on Netflix. Season 3 debuted on New Year's Day to kick off the new year like a total bad day. You know the line. Anyway, it was confirmed in the first full trailer for Season 3 that Season 4 was in training and not long after Season 3 debuted. We got proof that Season 4 was in filming. With their first episode called Let's Get Started. But what does that mean for the actual release schedule for the season? According to a Twitter post, the writer for Cobra Kai, John Hurowitz, gave a good estimate as to when Season 4 would debut. I don't have the answer, but I would imagine Season 4 would come out roughly a year after Season 3. So that would mean Season 4 is likely to arrive in early 2022. Which isn't bad considering certain things. Not to mention the global pandemic and quarantine is making filming a lot harder as stars from other Netflix shows like The Umbrella Academy have noted. So we'll just have to take things in stride and see where it goes from here. But Netflix has said that many of their upcoming new seasons, including that for Cobra Kai, would debut in Q4 2021. So that fits the timeline written by the writer. 7. More than 4 seasons When you talk about TV series of any kind, one thing you absolutely can tell is when a show is reaching its peak and its endgame. Cobra Kai Season 3 ended with Johnny Lawrence and Daniel LaRusso coming together to prep for their students for the next Old Valley Tournament in order to get rid of Cobra Kai for good. Many fans speculated that the series might end with Season 4 as all the apparent major threads were done. But executive producer Josh Held said something else entirely. We had an endgame in our heads. We've had one for quite some time, and it's not in Season 4. It's well beyond that. In our minds, we have seasons worth of story that is necessary to tell before we get to that endgame. That's surprising for many reasons, as Kreese was a big bad for the two of the three Karate Kid movies. So it makes sense that it'll be the final boss here. Guess not. And if this isn't the end, that casts even more questions as to what will happen in Season 4. 6. Johnny and Daniel's new partnership As we just noted, Johnny and Daniel are going to have to work together to take down John Kreese and rid the valley of Cobra Kai forever. But many fans, including us, know that this is much easier said than done. But though it won't be a smooth road, no doubt, Held noted that there is something that absolutely had to happen. Giving them this moment was something we've always known was coming. We've always felt like this was the time for it to happen, but we are doing it in a way that we've also established who these characters are. They're both very strong-minded in their own philosophies, ideals, and paths. There does appear to be a very distinct battle ahead. A very clear boundary and set of circumstances that have brought them to this moment. But time will tell if history repeats itself and they fall back into old habits again. Or if they're going to be able to weather the storm and lean into each other to do the hard work of what it is to form a partnership. 5. Ed Asner Returns Cobra Kai Season 3 was chock full of unexpected surprises, though some were more celebrated than others. One of the under-celebrated returns of Season 3 was actor Ed Asner, who made his return for Season 1 as Johnny Lawrence's vile stepfather, Sid Weinberg. And as it so happens, the veteran actor was quite surprised he returned. I did the first and third. I thought it was another pedestrian job. Get in and get out. Do the best I can and I'll see ya. They brought me in for Season 3. Then to see the fan reaction to appearing in Cobra Kai. I just want to be in things that people can still crow about. Crow indeed because no one saw his return coming, and given that Johnny stole something from him, it's possible he'll arrive for season 4, but he didn't tease whether that would happen. But given how the show loves to bring back characters from the distant or recent past, it's very possible it could happen again. 4. New Series Regulars Netflix and Cobra Kai did let us know that two very key cast members are going to have much bigger roles this time around. According to Deadline, Vanessa Rubio, who plays Carmen Diaz, Miguel's mother who's extremely hardworking and has been around since season one, is finally being promoted to the main cast. Along with this comes Payne List, who plays Tori Nichols, a troubled teen who isn't afraid to fight for what she believes in. 
Rubio has appeared in 16 episodes since season 1, and Liss has appeared in 15 episodes since season 2. Both of them had key arcs with certain characters, and with season 4 looking to be even more intense, things can grow for both of them. 3. Confirm new faces Just because we got some news on characters we've already loved in Cobra Kai, that doesn't mean we don't have some new faces joining the crew. Two new cast members in the form of Dallas Debris Young, Ona O'Brien, will be joining in reoccurring roles. Young will be playing Kenny, a child who's bullying and wants to use karate as self-defense. O'Brien will be playing a different kind of character, a potential karate student who's both studious and competitive, but is quick to have a temper. For an already diverse cast of characters, it'll be fun to see the addition of two new faces to the Cobra Kai family. You could argue that based on these descriptions that Kenny will be heading to LaRusso and Lawrence's dojo, while the other will be heading to Cobra Kai. But the series has done a really good job of going and usurping expectations in terms of what is likely to happen. Plus, we'll bet that these aren't the only new characters that will show up in the new season when it arrives. 2. Sam Situation A key main character throughout Cobra Kai is that of Sam, Daniel's daughter and one of his students at Miyagi-Do. Her relationship with characters like Miguel and Robbie have been instrumental and involved even further in Season 3 for better and for worse. In an interview with Teen Vogue on Instagram, Mary Mauser, the actress behind Samantha, talked about the future of her character, along with her two love interests from the past. I think that Samantha still has both pieces of herself in her heart, and by the end of Season 3, we'll know that she's with Miguel. And that's where she's happy, and that's where she fits. But I think at the same time, I think there's still a piece of her heart that's still always going to belong to Robbie, and that's hard. I think for Samantha, it's going to be figuring out the different parts of her heart that belong to different people in the story. Speaking of one of those love interests... 1. Robbie's Fate Robbie's another character who's been a key part of Cobra Kai since Season 1, and his arc in terms of evolution have been a grand and long one full of twists and turns. Not the least of which is that he's not apparently fully committed to Cobra Kai, increases training. But is that fully the case? The showrunners for Cobra Kai have noted that Season 4 will truly dwell into the dark side that Robbie could potentially fall into. You see how Season 3 ends with, he's with Kreese. So in Season 4, we'll have to see, does he go full Cobra Kai? Does he embrace the quote-unquote dark side in every way? Or do the lessons of his past have an impact as well? So Season 4 certainly has a strong journey for the Robbie character. And given how he wants to get payback for both Sam and Miguel for betraying him, this could feed into many things in Season 4. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at Cobra Kai Season 4? And the things we know, the things we can guess, and how everything might come together to push the series into Season 5 and beyond? How long do you hope Cobra Kai goes? Do you feel there's a big plotline coming that'll shake everyone to their core? Who are you hoping gets a lot of screen time in Season 4? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.